next integrating sine inverse sine x or arc sine x okay so to do this i'm going to make u equals to inverse sine x and dv equals to although there's no dv we're going to assume dv as one okay that doesn't mean there's no dv we have to make sure that we have a value for dv otherwise you won't be able to integrate so dv mean uh, since there's nothing so we can replace it with one so differentiating du over dx okay differentiating inverse sine arc sine we have one over set one minus x square square root of one minus x square okay those who are not sure how i got one over set one minus x square please refer to my previous video it's on um, integration by substitution okay if you scroll one of the videos you will see the differentiation of how to find inverse sign differentiation of inverse sign okay so that's why i'm not doing here straight away i'm writing the answer over here so differentiating inverse sign you get one over square root of one minus x square or set uh, one minus x square so from here du equals to one over square root of one minus x square dx okay now from there integrate dv okay is same as integrating one and v equals to x okay so i think we have all of it now just sub subbing into the formula and we know the formula is um, u dv equals to uv minus integrating v du okay remember okay the first part of the equation is basically the question okay this is basically the question what we have to find is uv and minus the integration of v du once you have simplified that you can uh, solve the problem okay so let's do this so now this is equal to so u u is inverse sine or arc sine x okay and then multiply by v v is x and then minus integrating v du v is x and du is 1 over square root of 1 minus x square in terms of x okay or dx so now let's simplify this further so you get inverse sine x times x and okay so this is basically going back to the previous lesson which is integration by substitution okay i'm going to use uh, integration by substitution before that make u equals to 1 minus x square okay i'm going to make this one 1 minus x squares u so from there i'll get du over dx equals to negative 2x okay so du equals to negative 2x dx negative 2x dx so from there I, i'll get dx as du over negative 2x okay so now what do i do so minus integrating so x is already there dx i'm going to sub with du over negative 2x multiply by 1 over and square root of 1 minus x square is actually u okay remember this is 1 minus x square that's actually u so i'm going to sub here with u now let's cancel whatever that we could cancel so those two will be gone so what's left here is x inverse sine x so this is negative and negative that becomes positive and integrating what's left here is u to the power of okay this is u at the bottom okay so i'm going to bring it to the top make it into a numerator so it should be um negative oh okay i missed this it's square root okay it's square root so remember so it becomes negative half okay so it's square root of u 
So we we'll bring it over, it becomes negative half, and what's left, it, what's left here is negative and negative becomes positive, so that's just two, okay? And then uh, du, okay? So we haven't integrated yet. Okay, integrate this, you will get x inverse sine x plus, okay, it's u to the power of negative half. So negative half, so you have u to the power of negative half plus one over. So negative half plus one is half. So I'm gonna divide two is already there, another half. Okay, so the final answer will be x inverse sine x plus, that's u to the power of half and two times by half just gives me one so and then this is plus c and just now what we have as u u equals to one minus x squared so sub u inside we don't want anything in terms of u everything should be in terms of x so plus one minus x square to the power of half plus c and this can also be written as x inverse sine x square root of plus one minus x square plus C.